Those over there for now. And here's our tuna. It's beautiful looking. Long tail tuna. So northern bluefin uh, around these parts. So not commonly known as long tail, but northern bluefin tuna is the other name. We'll fill it this one up. So it should be relatively bled out. Uh, people always ask me whether I do uh, bleed my fish. I don't tend to worry about it with mackerel, but I definitely do worry about it with tuna. Uh, the most more blood you can get out of them, the better come filleting. And then this guy just got put straight in the fridge. So he was uh, caught and probably within the, in the fridge within, say, in less than an hour. So he was nice and cold. So hopefully that flesh had time to cool and he'll be very nice eating quality. Now, with a tuna like this, He's not overly huge, so the head's not going to be too much of an issue. So I might just sort of cut in and could still remove the head actually. So we'll come in, get a nice sort of sharp angle inwards and go up towards the head because this head here is full of meat as well. So we don't want to waste any of that. So come right up into the front. And we'll do the same on this side from the wing up to the front to the gills. Okay, then we can flip it, do the exact same thing on this side. Yeah, tough skin on this guy. I think my knife needs a bit of sharpening, so <laughs> it's a bit silly to do a filleting with a blunt knife, but anyway, we're on our way now. And up to the front as well, with here. Alright, and so you can see that head pop up. And now, if we tilt back and grab on both sides, I can even go under the gills. I just put my hand straight in, grab on the gill plate, and then tilt it back. And then what happens is we pull it out and most of the guts come with it. <laughs> We missed a little bit. All right, so when I cut that open, a lot of blood spilled out then, so I'd had to do a quick blood clean up. But uh, as you can see, so the incision here and coming in here, and then when you tilt it up, basically it all rips out. And then if you pre-gut just here as well, all the guts will rip out with the head. So I've given this a quick wash down just so I can show you. But yeah, you can see that when the cuts go in, and then it all sort of comes off in one big triangle piece, so that's sort of convenient. Surprising amount of blood still in there, considering I bled him. But anyway, so you've basically got four sections. You've got like the top loins on each side, and then you've got the belly loins or the bottom loins. Uh, you can just go straight in from sort of where the edge of the fin was and just cut straight down. So we just start at the top, working our way straight down along his top fin and up to the dorsal with the dorsal it's going to be really hard to get in there so i usually come back in on this side just go a little bit higher and work around it and sometimes it's if i get the knife forward and then give it a bit of leverage there we go and then just work our way down to the bottom following the spine you can do it in a few cuts as well, there's no need to do it all in one cut. And then come back in, have a look at where you're at. <laughs> then I'll spin it around, do the same on the bottom. But I'll start just at the bottom of the belly here, at the bottom of the bum. <laughs> You can just cut this straight up, straight across. No need to worry about this bit of meat because it's not really going to be that great. Cut straight down the center. Right.
Okay. Move these up here so we can see we've got our top line, which was just up on the top here. And then our bottom line, which is on the bottom here. And once they come off, they come up in nice, beautiful chunks. Just like keeping the rag, trying to keep all the blood and water and everything off. Definitely do not get any fresh water on your uh, fish. The fresh water will start to cook and make the flesh go all white and weird. And uh, it won't taste nice. It'll be the end of it. So definitely, if you need to use water, use salt water if you've got access to it. If not, make sure you wipe all the fresh water up and don't get it on the flesh. And we do the other same to the other side. Okay, now we're at the stage where we can sort of get these loins now. So those loins are so good. <laughs> Look at this one, we'll start with this one. So we can just trim that center line off. You can see where the blood line runs down the spine. And then we'll just cut it into more manageable chunks. And look at that. Wow. And we'll just trim the bloodline off. It's obviously bloodline that runs down the spine. You don't want to eat that. Once we get all of that gone, we'll be looking good. Okay, and that piece is pretty much ready to go. And let's just uh, cut down one just so we can see the beautiful sashimi that we're gonna end up with. Look at that. So that is amazingly good. And that's what we're gonna be eating tonight. And that's probably what I'm gonna eat pretty much this morning for breakfast as well. <laughs> so we'll trim all of this up. And then we'll be good to go with our like uh, long tail ready to eat. Wow, look at that. So you can see that's all bloodline on that side. There's a little bit left on there. There's the skin. It's pretty amazing. The amount of flesh, like serious amount of meat. And we just get rid of this last little bit of bloodline and we are good to go. We are ready for dinner. Alright, so as you can see, there's no lack of meat. These are just the offcuts, kind of uh, that I missed on the second half of the spine. So I just keep those and I'll sashimi those. But look at these! Like these are amazing sections of meat. So keep the tail, probably uh, the tail area. I'll probably blowtorch them for the kids because once it starts cooking, it's not an issue that it's not a, a perfect, like sort of nice cross section of flesh and not really 
not really sinewy but because they get a little bit more sinewy towards the end of the tail once you cook it that sort of uh, disappears and isn't an issue so these sections here will probably be the first to be cooked but these sections up here will most definitely be all sashimi'd and uh, yeah doesn't get much better than that surprising amount of fish from one fish so plenty for uh yeah i'd probably say we'll get well depending on how many people are there tonight we'll probably get we'll probably go through at least that plus a few of the small pieces <laughs> so uh maybe two meals possibly three uh plus breakfast so yeah it was a funny uh funny day i went through the footage of the actual trip out there and I realized I probably had to do this filleting video because a lot of the video uh, footage was uh, I tried a new camera and it didn't work out like uh, the touch screen got hit and it blew out all the uh, the contrast so you couldn't see one of the cameras on the pole and then the front camera was all fogged up and then the new GoPro that I had on my chest uh, I hadn't fixed the mics so they weren't doing in stereo sort of recordings so they were basically just uh, trying to capture any sound that it could and avoid wind noise and what it does is it pretty much captures if you get some water on it, it pretty much captures the mic with the water on it thinking it's like getting some nice good quality sound so thought we better fill it something up and uh, sort of salvage whatever content we had hopefully you sort of saw how i sort of filleted i didn't do the best job in explaining in this one but i probably will do a proper filleting video at some point and go through all the different sort of parts and why i'm cutting and everything but this one was just more of a just a a quick add-on so hopefully you enjoyed it and we'll um yeah see you on the next vid i've got another i do have another uh trip planned now sort of cooking as long as this weather sort of clears up over the next couple of weeks i'll sneak it in so it should be good uh and it'll be a skiff trip and hopefully a little bit of island hopping involved so depends though because the weather is pretty crappy here and uh up north it seems to be not so great but as soon as it clears up hopefully we'll sneak that in and it should be some good content coming. All right, well, better get this stuff in the fridge and uh, ready for tonight. But uh, catch you in the next vid. Cheers. <laughs>